Hello! I'm happy to be with you today. I hope you had a good Thanksgiving. My family had a nice one, and it was outside, so we wouldn't get each other sick. But we missed our aunts and cousins. What holiday comes after Thanksgiving? Christmas! <gasps> That's right! But we have to wait for it to arrive. Do you know what the church calls the time that we wait? What's that period of time that we wait? The four Sundays in Advent. It's Advent. That word comes from a Latin and it means, ad means to and the air means come. So it means to come. So we're waiting for Christmas to come. So what are we waiting for during Advent? We're waiting for all of our families to have a good Thanksgiving. No, we're waiting for Christmas. We're waiting for the birth of Jesus. Baby Jesus, that's right. So here is a book called A Baby Is Coming. Do you know what's special about this book? It's in Spanish and English, but Grand Mary, Miss Mary can only read the English part. And it's by Daphna Flegel. Do you think we have everything we need? Mary asked Joseph as she packed some fruit and bread in a bag. Yes, I think so, Joseph said as he smiled at Mary. We have food, water, clothes, and blankets. I'm glad you reminded me to get feed for the donkey so he won't be hungry for, on our long journey to Bethlehem. Clippity-clop, clippity-clop. Carefully, the donkey stopped stepped around the rocks in the, as he walked down the dusty road. How do you feel, Mary? Are you tired? Joseph asked as he walked beside her. A little, Mary said. I've been thinking about our baby. I know he will be a special baby and we will love him very much. Yes, said Joseph. The angel told us to name him Jesus. Knock, knock, knock. Joseph knocked on the door of the inn. Do you have a room for the night? asked Joseph. I'm sorry, said the innkeeper. My inn is full, but we traveled a long way. Sit down, sit down. Joseph said, soon my wife will have a baby. Is there no place we can spend the night? You can stay in the stable with the animals, the innkeeper said. You will be warm there. You can make a bed out of the soft hay. Mary and Joseph were happy to have a warm place to sleep. Joseph made a bed out of the soft hay. Are you warm enough, Joseph asked, as he covered Mary with a blanket. Thank you, Joseph, answered Mary. Now I am nice and warm. Mary lay down on the bed of hay. Moo, ba. Mary and Joseph went to sleep to the quiet sounds of the cow and sheep. Soon even the animals were asleep. Then something wonderful happened. Mary gave birth to her firstborn son. Mary wrapped the baby in soft bands of cloth to make him feel safe and warm. Oh, Joseph, said Mary, he is such a beautiful baby boy. Mary gently rocked her son to sleep. Yes, said Joseph, as he lovingly made a soft bed of hay for the baby. Joseph took the sleeping baby from Mary, kissed him, and gently laid him in the manger. Outside, a bright star sparkled in the sky. Inside, a small lamp cast a warm glow around the stable. Mary and Joseph looked with wonder at the tiny baby sleeping in the hay. They remembered what the angel told them. You are to name him Jesus. During Advent, we aren't supposed to only wait until we can celebrate the birth of baby Jesus. 
we're supposed to prepare our hearts to receive God's wonderful gift of love. When you start thinking about Christmas and all the exciting things that happen, remember God's gift of love through the birth of his son, Jesus. Let's fold our hands and bow our heads and close our eyes and say a prayer. Dear God, help us be patient as we wait for Christmas. Help us prepare our hearts for your gift of love. Thank you, God, for loving us so much. You gave us your only son. Amen.